Welcome back everybody. In this question, we are given two functions f of x, so this one for part a, this one for part b. These are two different, even though they have the same shape, the coordinates are actually different. And given these two functions, so this is f of x and then this is f of x here as well, we have to sketch the transformations indicated. So for this function, if this is f of x, we now have to sketch f of x minus 2 plus 3. So when I get a question like this, notice that this is not one of the parent functions that we're usually working with. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a table for f of x. Actually, you know what? Um, let's, uh, I'm going to erase this here, give myself some more room. So y is equal to f of x. So here's the table for the quote-unquote parent function. This is going to be the parent function. And then we're going to transform it to f of x minus 2 plus 3. So it's almost like the same process. We're going to be taking points from the parent function and then transforming them. So what you want to do is you want to actually list out points on the parent function if you're given a graph. And the points I always like to pick is any corner points where the graph is changing. So notice here, that is one corner point. So this point is negative 3 and negative 2. And then where's the next corner point? Notice that this is going to be a line. And then the next corner point is here, which is 2 and 2. And then the next corner point is here, which is 1, 2, 3, 3, and negative 1. Now we can pick points in between as well, but it's easier to just deal with the corner points. And then when we transform them, you'll have three corner points again, and then you can just connect them, right? So you don't need any points in the middle as long as you have all of the corner points where the function is changing, where the lines are changing, that is good enough. So now, this is the parent function table, and we're gonna transform it. And when we transform it, we need what? The A value, the K value, the C value, the D value. And then we're gonna transform it with the formula X over K plus D, a y plus c. So here, what is the a value? Well, there's an a value of 1 right there. There's nothing in front of the x, so the k value is 1 as well. What's the c value? c value is 3, and then the d value is positive 2. So you should be pretty comfortable at this point, whenever you're given a function like this, which is in general format, get the transformation values. So now, with all these transformation values, we plug it into this formula. So x over k, x over 1 is just x, plus d, the d value is 2. And then we'll have a y plus c, the a value is 1, times y, which is just y, plus c, which is 3. So we're taking all the x values here and adding 2. So negative 3 plus 2 gives us negative 1, 2 plus 2 gives us 4, and then 3 plus 2 gives us 5. And then uh, y plus 3, so negative 2 plus 3 gives us 1. 2 plus 3 gives us 5. And then negative 1 plus 3 gives us uh, 2. And now we have the points for the transform function. We can just plot those. And uh, let's just plot them on the same graph. So negative 1 and 1, that would be over here. I'm going to erase this here. And then 4 and 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be up here. And then 5 and 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2, which is over here. Right. So this function looks like that. So what happened? We basically took this function, shifted over by 2, 2 to the right, right? that's a d value of positive 2, and then shifted it up by 3, this positive uh, c value right there right so that there is the transform function so again given a function you want to get the points all these have to be corners right so if we had a function let's say like this you want to take this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate and this coordinate there'd be four coordinates but in this case we only need three you always want to have the corner coordinates and then um and then yeah you just transform them like usual so here, same process, uh, we got a graph f of 2x, so let's make a table for f of x first.
and then we're going to transform it to f of 2x. So this point here is what? 4 and negative 2. This point here is 2 and 3. And then this point here is 4 and negative 3. Like that. Oh, sorry, this one is negative 4 and negative 2. My bad. Right there. So these are the points on the parent function, and now we have to transform them here. So with this function, what's the a value? What's the k value? What's the c value? What's the d value? a value is 1. k value is 2 in this case. c value is 0. Then the d value is 0. It's like x plus 0. Okay, so there's no C value, no D value, meaning that it's not shifted left or right. It's only a K value of 2. It's not shifted left or right. It's not shifted up or down either with the C value 0. So this K value of 2, if we plug it into this formula, basically all we're doing is we're taking the X values, dividing them by 2, adding 0. So it's just X over 2. And then A, which is 1, times Y, which is Y, plus 0. So all the y values stay the same. So all the x values we're dividing by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2 gives us negative 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is positive 2. And then all the y values are staying the same. So this k value of 2, what's it doing to the parent function? It's taking the function and horizontally compressing it by 1 over 2. You remember, you flip the k value. So basically, our function is going to be same shape, just a little skinnier. So negative 2 and negative 2, that would be over here. 1 and 3, that would be up here. And then 2 and negative 3, that would be over here. All right, so the transform function looks like that. All right, so we took this function and horizontally compressed it by a factor of 1 over 2. So that was the only transformation, right? So questions like this, if you're given these random graphs, you want to get points, they have to be the corner points, and then you just take the points and transform them with the transformation formula that we went over in the lecture video. So it's a little time consuming, but it is not too difficult.